This is Ian, author of Lean Media and the founder of two e-commerce businesses and an Amazon seller for 20 years. Today, I'm going to be talking about making edits to your KDP A plus content. If this video helps you, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel. And disclaimer, you're responsible for following relevant terms and your experience may be different than what I'm about to show you. And what I'm about to show you is the existing A plus content I have on this particular page and several other pages. Uh, I'm a publisher of books and we have these in 30 minute series. And if you scroll down on the detail page, you'll see we have some cool A plus content. In another video, I showed you how to create A plus content for your KDP published books. The problem is this particular book right here in this comparison chart, this is the old edition. This is the second edition of the book. And if you click on it, it takes you to the second edition page. We want to we want to change the A-plus content so it goes to the new edition, the third edition, which we just launched of this particular book. To do that, we have to edit the KDP A-plus content. This is how you do it. Log into your KDP account. Click on Marketing at the top. A lot of options here. You want, uh, first of all, you have to choose the marketplace. So we're going to Amazon.com and then click Manage A-plus content. Unfortunately, our navigation isn't available. Please refresh the page, but actually it showed up. And you can see I have a list of all my different A plus content for the different books I have. This is the one we want. Um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint books, August 2021. Has nine ASINs in it. So let's edit that. All right, this looks familiar, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all the rest of this stuff alone because this is still fine. We wanna change this one though. So click on edit at the top and then you'll be presented with each of the modules and if I wanted to I could make little text changes here I don't want to do that though so I'm gonna scroll down okay this is how to make the change there's actually two changes that I should make one is to change the cover the other one is to change the Amazon ASIN or it's the 10 digit ISBN kind of the old-fashioned ISBN to change it uh, this is the old one for the second edition. Get the new one, and I've conveniently created the new one. So this is the old one. Second edition ends in 295, so you can see that matches there. I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to choose the new one. This is the new paperback ASIN, and paste it in there. Okay. The uh, other thing I'm going to need to do, I, I can't do it right now is to create a new image for that. I'll do that later on. And if I wanted to, I could change text here. Like, let's just do a quick change here. Um, so for instance, I, bo I bolded all this text. I'm going to unbold it. I'm going to just bold this section. Okay. So I made some minor text changes and also this, the link to this, to this, this will change to a new book. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, save as draft and then apply ASINs. And I think we're good. So let's review and submit. Submit for approval. You're submitting your content to Amazon for review and publication. And so it can take up to seven bit business days for your content to be reviewed. Um, in my experience, it usually takes a lot less than that. But you know, if it's a busy time of year, maybe it might be that long. Click submit for approval. Your changes have been saved. They've been submitted for approval. Please remember to update your catalog content if changed. Okay, so it's going to take a few days maybe for this to be updated. But what I'll do is I'll come back to this page later on. I'll scroll down to the A-plus content. And then I'll see if this link has indeed changed. It hasn't yet, but once they approve it, and I don't think they'll reject it, this will be updated. For more information on how to get the most out of the KDP program, program and other Amazon programs, including Amazon Advertising, Amazon Seller, Amazon Brand Registry, Amazon Transparency. I have a whole bunch of videos on my YouTube channel. This video helped you out. If you could like it, that would be great. You can also subscribe or go to leanmedia.org slash and click on video or blog. And I have all kinds of blog posts and videos about this stuff. This is Ian signing off. Thank you so much for watching.